Hi, welcome to the new video. I am Roy Desai, co-founder of GB Experts. In this video, I am going to explain you the secrets of my business. How do I run my business? Uh, what is the thought process? The, if I want to start a new company and what is that I go through? So this is going to be uh, the structure for your business and you can take a lot of inputs from here and then apply it, modify it to and fine tune it as what you wanted and then you can proceed this forward. So the thing here is uh, there is this is the four ways that uh, what I have I've been using and uh, what I use it or I advise you people to use it the same kind of a strategy to build your uh, export business. So this is very important. The fourth thing uh, what we are looking at here is the first one is what you know. So because guys uh, many times uh, people come to export import businesses without any idea. They go through a lot of stuff. Uh, they go through a lot of trouble. They don't even understand. What is exactly happening with them or uh, what can things go wrong because the only thing only reason here is they don't have the basic knowledge so the knowledge is a key where you have your rate of success towards upper or are you going to sink in so the the whole uh, intentions of having knowledge of that particular industry is very much important uh, when it comes to export import businesses we know about uh, how do the export business run through but I always come up and say you that okay if when you come to a particular product that is something which I am not aware of if I have dealt with it okay I have a bit of knowledge in that but uh, if there is a product that I have never dealt in so I always say this like, okay I don't have a knowledge in it so let me check with the people who knows about it so I call to a couple of other exporters understand about it and then we can take a call on that whether that business is profitable or not so what I suggest you is uh, please invest your time and money on the knowledge gathering if you don't have any so it could be a product knowledge it could be uh, the business operation knowledge or it could be a logistical knowledge whatever the knowledge is required to be a successful exporter that is something which you need to look into in today's world digital marketing having a website or understanding about how the website works how the seo works investing on the right foot with the right agencies the things will really fall uh, into the right ma uh, foot, foot forward so what I can say is if you are driving and you are driving into a good uh, you know, to a direction and you know exactly what the destination you are traveling and but unfortunately you are driving on a wrong road and you are putting all your effort driving faster, safely, doing all of that uh, things being taken care of but you are traveling on a wronger side. You will never reach your destination. To reach to the right destination you should be very much sure that your knowledge is pretty much good enough. Your Google map should show exactly what are you traveling and how, are, how far are you from your destination. So these are the basic keys that you need to look into uh, when you are entering into export import business. The first thing is where I'm traveling, uh, that's a knowledge what you need to have. <coughs> if you're planning to uh, travel to one destination, you need to have all the resources, what is required, the basic knowledge, uh, that is very much important uh, when it comes to export import business it's about course it could be about learning it could be about operations product especially people don't invest a lot of my time in understanding about the product but the problem here is uh, guys your success is 99 percent depends on your product so what do you offer to the people is very much important you should be very much uh, you should have the knowledge about it because people don't want to buy the product from someone who don't even know what the product is selling through so please be very sure about it. Please gather all the knowledge, all the resources, whatever possible uh, at this current of time. See what happens here is in today's AI world, uh, you the knowledge is not a big challenge for you to understand. Get it on Google, search it on AI, do all of that. Get all the data, whatever is needed uh, to run your proper business. So gather all those information and then put your step into the practical experience. Go and meet people, get the hands-on quality. Check the quality ranges, uh, check the quality type, the product type and varieties of it. So it could be various any other products what you are dealing in. Please make sure you have a hands on experience into it. Then after you can push it forward. Only then you will be in such a situation where you can have a convincing power or you can overpower your buyer. Because normally if you give a perception saying that okay you don't know anything about your product then, then the buyer will run away. It's not about how do you uh, how do you approach your buyer. It's more of like uh, how good are you convincing your buyer to buy from you because he has multiple options already. Even he has internet access. He can search for the buyers. He can talk to someone and he can go on it. 
But the problem here is, uh, if you are talking to him, if you have opportunity to talk to him, either on trade shows, either on uh, buyer seller meet, organized by any EPCs or Indian embassies, but you need to have at least a knowledge on your product and the operations, what you are getting in, and how are you helping them, and what the major problem they are going through, and what is that pain you are relieving uh, out of them. So that is something which you need to look into that. So this is one of the major key what you need to have. Once you have the knowledge. Then it's all about skills, guys. So uh, applying the ability, whatever you have learned, it could be uh, the meeting or the conversations, what you have, how do you pitch about your product, how do you explain it? See, knowing is one part of it, but how do you express that to the client is very much important. See, for example, many people know a lot of things, but they are not a good explainers. They can't convince someone, uh, the person who is sitting next to, uh, uh, to the other side uh, of the camera or the person or whatever it is. If you're meeting in person, that's a different story. But if it's uh, if you're not meeting on in person and you are doing a Zoom call, then obviously you need to be very much to the crisp, to the point, and you need to give him the proper explanation. What is that you're offering, and what is that you have the knowledge, and how are you convincing him that people know what they are talking? About. They they know exactly about their product, but they don't know how to explain it. Then there is a skill set problem. You need to be a big a good communicator when it comes to exporting the products. It's not. The skill what you need to have is the good communication, good uh, command on the language and the way you communicate to the people. And apart from that, it's about uh, how do you uh, take the counter questions whenever the client asks something and how good you are responding. It may be on your negative foot, but still you need to take it on the right spirit and then give them the proper answers or counter them with the proper answers. So that is where if the buyer convinces, is the, the theory works is this. Like either the buyer convince you or you convince the buyer. If none of the convince, then obviously uh, the, the deal is in the trash. So that's how simple it is. So you need to focus on your skill set. It could be communication. It could be handling your team. It could be handling your uh, logistics, the way you talk to people, all of it. And more than that, uh, you need to know sure, for sure that what are you talking to the buyers and what are the things that you need to bring up. See, because this doesn't come on instant. If you do one meeting and you are getting disappointed, not like that. You need to do multiple meetings. You need to fail for a couple of meetings and then you can go forward. And once you are able to keep repeating, doing the same thing again and again, there will be a high situation that upcoming orders will be, uh, upcoming buyers will be very much impressed and you know exactly what about your product is. And many times what happens here is uh, if you have a friends, normally I do the same exercise. If you have the same thing, uh, please try it. I, uh, whenever I have an idea, I talk to, I share it to with my family, my brothers, uh, my friends and all. Those guys will come up with a very weird questions, which normally my investor may ask, my buyer may ask, sort of it. So they will point you down, they will put you so down that, should I do this business or not? That's how the things comes in. But if you have the answers for every question, what they have, note down every questions and find the answer for it. And if you have other answer for every question, then 99% you will win the deal. So people look for, okay, so how do I get a buyer? How do I get his phone number? How do I get it, uh, his email ID? Where do I catch the buyer? Uh, agree. That's a challenge, but still somehow we can crack it. But how do we convince the buyer? Do you have a strategy for it? If you send an email, if the buyer responds to you, then people goes like, so, like too shaky on saying that, sir, what I do respond now. Because I've seen a lot of students uh, uh, who are into import-export business, a lot of young entrepreneurs uh, who don't even know exactly, okay, I, I'm in a sending an email in an expectation of getting an email, but soon I get it, I don't know what to reply to it. So that is something which is very weird, uh, which happens very, very normally to everyone, but some people who have a plan, who has a strategy, who knows exactly what he's dealing in, then obviously that's not a bigger challenge which I feel for. So. It's all on the skill level, guys. What do you know and how do you adapt to it? And then how do you push it forward? That's all what it takes. The third thing, what you need to focus is on like, what do you have to offer? So you have a very good uh, knowledge about your product and uh, you, can, you are a good communicator. You can communicate about your product well. You can display it in front of a client and people can really go through uh, your product and see how good uh, uh, the product is. But end of the day, if your product doesn't have any kind of a uh, USP, then not really getting sold because see, are you offering the product? Is it like uh, people uh, want to buy or is it like something like, okay, you're pushing them to buy it. 
So if you're pushing it, then people may be not buying it, or people may be not interested in buying it. Because the only reason here is people don't see the necessity of it. But the only thing here is, uh, if the product is not sold today, it can be sold tomorrow, that's a hope. But the thing here is, uh, you need to do a proper analytics, that's on your uh, knowledge skill, you need to focus on saying that, okay, I have a deeper knowledge in this, and people are really in need of it. Maybe people don't understand what is the real need, I can explain it in a better manner, and then showcase the product, and then people will agree to it. Uh, there was a day, like, uh, people were not uh, understanding the basic uh, concept of uh, the the gardening, the uh, what you call it, the terrace gardening, or the balcony gardening, or home gardening, or sort of it. In today's time, uh, the people who understood this knowledge, like, okay, there is a need, there is a challenges, these are the basic knowledges what they had. And they had a skill set to solve the problem, and then they solved, they designed it in such a uh, manner that uh, in a very small space, they can grow veggies and all of it for take care of your uh, their family uh, daily requirements. So they have come up with such a requirement, designs and all, which they can easily install on your balconies, uh, easily you can grow veggies and all of it. Along with that, they can support you with the, uh, what do you call the pots, the hygienes and the sprays, the insecticides, pesticides, all of it organically. And moreover, the use of water or the taking care of uh, the plants is very minimal. So these are something which is a new thing what uh, people are offering to the market. This is the same kind of a thought process you need to have. You need to see what the challenge the people are facing. Based on that, if you work out on your uh, uh, solution, then yeah, that's something people want. Then if you are a good, you have a knowledge on it and you are a good presenter and you have a very good product that is what people are looking for, then there is a sale. If you are selling something which people don't want, you are pushing it, no, it will not go through. Uh, many times you may, it may go through when it, uh, when you are in deep loss and you offer a huge discounts. The thing what I've seen recently is the gardening materials, what I see, the vernicompost, the, uh, the neem, uh, what do you call it, the cakes, neem, uh, neem cakes. So these are the products which is like a, in, in some uh, few, uh, few years back, it was the waste material. Today, everything is being used and everything is smartly converted and that is being uh, brought to the market and then now people are using it on a day-to-day -day basis and people are paying a huge money for it, for a well-packed product with a well-labeled, well-brand, all of it. So guys, I advise you to please go and check about uh, these gardening materials. That's one of the thing which is booming now, not only in India, uh, in not only in US, all the all the what you call we call it as a developed country so look into all the countries so everyone is doing it and very much people are taking care of it because after covid people are very much uh, more towards the healthy eating and uh, healthy products and especially if something they can build a hobby out of it then you're well and good and at a very convenient uh, space at a very convenient timing it's just uh, i saw those products which was just a wall sticking products it's like you can grow every different plant in every different pot and that will just stick to the wall. Uh, nothing will be going down or uh, it will be not spoiling the floor. So the, it's a pretty good thing. So you can check on those products. So these are the three keys what I've been explaining now. Uh, one is your knowledge, uh, what you will learn and the skill, how do you communicate to the buyer. The third thing is like, what do you offer? Is it like, do people want to buy it or not? And the fourth most important thing is the reputation. See, what happens here is reputation doesn't come uh, in a day because uh, if I just started, then obviously it's not something like, okay, you over, overnight get it. So people think uh, too positive about you. People bitch about a uh, lot of brands, a lot of companies, a lot of products, even uh, uh, what you call a good companies like Apple and all. So people uh, have a very negative thought about it in various cases. So you people need to think that, okay, uh, it's not a one-time business. Even if you're dealing it for the first time or a very small order with the buyer, Never consider that this is the last order or this is a very small order. Uh, give a respect of that order because that is going to give you a value or a compounding value in the future. So please make sure uh, your thought process should be with the clients is to be very crisp and understanding saying that, okay, if I fulfill this order on the genuinely uh, genuine uh, best efforts, I give him the best things what is possible at, at the price, obviously. So whatever the best products which I can export him, I can help him out. Uh, the challenges what he's going through, to, uh, going through, I can help him with whatever the things are needed and in the best way possible. And I'm loyal. I'm not cheating him in any cases. It could be financially, it could be quality, it could be packaging, whatever. 
and and if you are able to do this for a couple of transaction then that is the person the buyer is being going to be very loyal to you maybe the prices up and down maybe a bit challenges negotiation and all of it but apart from that you will be having regular businesses you need to focus on that because many people come to me saying that sir uh, the buyer had come to me i have supplied him uh, later he didn't turn up uh, later there was no regular orders the only thing is a regular order will not flow in because he felt cheated in some case i don't say it as pricing or quality or you dissed him like you didn't supply in the products or not not like that but overall if i to tell you there is something that your buyer is not uh, was not comfortable with it could be the communication the way of uh, you communicated about the updates or uh, the product uh, packaging or labeling or any it could be any matter and obviously if you cheat him on the financial front then obviously you'll never come back obviously you can fool the people once not twice so that's how the thing is so these are the four ways what you can really uh, think of building your business first thing get the knowledge wherever possible whatever the knowledge list out the knowledge that you need to have as being a exporter as being a, as a successful business entrepreneur you need to look towards the knowledge center saying that okay who can help me with this you can either look towards the mentors like me or you can look towards the consultation companies like mine or you can look for anyone else whom you trust in and uh, they can help you with a very better manner in whatever the department or whatever the sector you are looking for again it depends what kind of a product you are looking for so uh, when it comes to skills business development uh, sales marketing we can really help you in that so apart from that if you are looking for something okay this is specifically to the industrial product or something like that uh, get in touch with those industries research centers uh, labs uh, laboratories or we call it as scientist uh, in the today's market where uh, you can find agro scientists a lot of scientists are there who are working on it you can really work with them closely understand what the what the product they have and if that is something which has solves the problem in the global market you can get those product get it patented uh, patented get it on to your uh, control and then you can push it forward that's how we can really work through if that is something a long over vision but if you are looking for something which is ready made and someone is offering it already and there is a good demand for it then yeah really you can do something better than that and see what is that improvisations you have to do it's not something like okay uh, everyone is doing it so i'll do it it's not that way uh, think differently uh, think out of the box and see uh, how well you can modify it and what are the bigger challenges there challenges don't uh, will not be loud you need to once you enter to the ground level once you start working you get to see that that there is a pain there some of the other challenges will be always left out that is something which you can address and figure it out and then push it uh, your products to that sentence and then obviously that will work through so uh, this is a piece of advice which i wanted to share with you guys and uh, i hope uh, this video adds some value so if it's uh, if it is really done then give a like uh, hit a like button and if you are new to the channel and if you want to stay uh, stay tuned with our upcoming updates please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, all the best for your future see you in the next video till then take care bye bye